In this video, let us learn about project issues in Primer P6. Primer P6 Professional has features to support the monitoring of issues from discovery to resolution. This is our sample schedule now. You can manually create issues and you can generate issues automatically by defining project thresholds. To see project issues, go to Project tab and click on Issues. In the bottom details section, in the general tab, we can enter the issue related information like issue name, responsible manager, date identified, identified by, status, priority and resolution date. We can also assign a tracking layout to the issue. An issues tracking layout assignment is helpful when you want to quickly open the tracking layout that best displays the problem area. In the threshold section, you can mention the lower and, high, lower and higher threshold limits to get notified on these issues. In the notes tab, we can provide an explanation of the issue. If you want to view the history of any issue, select any issue, right click on the issue and choose issue history. To add information, type in the add to notes area and then click add. You can add new issues by clicking on the plus icon and add all these details as mentioned. We need to track all these issues regularly and update whenever there is a resolution. You can use the filter icon to identify the issues by their status or the criteria like this. There is one more important feature called Issue Navigator. Choose Tools, click on Issue Navigator. Select the issue you want to review. To view the issue's details with its assigned to the issue's activity details, click Activities. To view the issue's work breakdown structure details, click on WPS. To view the issue's resource details, click on Resources. To view the issue's details in the Project Issues window, click Issues Details. Okay, so this is all about the project issues in Primera P6. Projects may have many issues during the execution of the schedule. Remember that Primera P6 Professional supports monitoring all project related issues at all phases of resolution. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If yes, please give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe to Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.